crucial sobering center in Butte County has two major hurdles to overcome, the Oroville and Chico City Councils. The Butte County Sobering Center was supposed to open in spring, but now it's set to open in July because of a lack of funding at this point. Action News Now reporter Margot Rose shows us where the center stands now and what the next steps are. Butte Behavioral Health is under a tight deadline to get the Sobering Center here at 560 Cohasset Road open by July. The center would help people using drugs or alcohol come down from the substance and connect them with resources. But there's been some setbacks in obtaining funds. There's been some delays and some hiccups. Butte Behavioral Health Executive Director Scott Canelli says the department has been working on getting money from Chico and Orville's opioid settlement. I did present to this Chico City Council uh, with an ask for some funding and it wasn't agendized as a, an action item. So they could only hear my presentation and now they have to vote on whether or not they want to contribute part of their opioid settlement money towards um, the sobering center. And then I also presented to the Orville City Council uh, last month and there were some questions about the sobering center. Including questions from council member Sean Weber, who then, as now, has questions about cost and concerns about transportation to and from the sobering center in Chico. And how we would work that out from the OPD's perspective, because I don't want to find us in a position where we are having to transport somebody that uh, is under the influence and take our uh, either our sworn officers or our municipal law enforcement uh, off the beat for that time that it would take them to go over there, process, and then come back. Weber says the city asked staff to work with Kennelly on addressing those concerns and have it be brought back to council. He says if the concerns are worked out, he wouldn't delay in voting in favor. Go into um, talks with Scott and see where, wh how we could work out the, the minutia on the details, like transportation, you know, what is it going to, you know, uh, all those details. Now, I'm not, I'm not opposed to this idea, uh, you know, but I, I just want to make sure it makes sense for Oroville. I also reached out to Chico City Council member Tom Van Overbeck, who explained to me that he thought using the opioid settlement funds for the sobering center was a good idea, but he was unsure on when we could see this item back on the agenda for the council to consider. Now, Canelli says he's hoping the center will be back on the agenda for both cities soon, as Butte Behavioral is under deadline. I'm hoping both the Oroville City Council and the Chico City Council have it on their agenda in the next uh, meeting or two. And then, uh, assuming that happens, April, May, we would be going to the Board of Supervisors probably in May and hoping to get approval for the, the, the center and an opening in July. It's a very, very tight timeline. It's not something I'm typically that close to the wire on, but we've been working on this for a long time and we have a lot of people in the community who really want to see it happen. I asked Canelli what would happen if the funding didn't make it in time for July, and he explained to me that Butte Behavioral does have reserves set for mental health treatments that they could pull money from, but they want to avoid doing that. In Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Canelli says the Sobering Center would be a 500, at 560 Cohasset campus. It would occupy the space where the Crisis Center is, and then the Crisis Center would move to the building at former Urgent Care on the property. He said that it would uh, be the latest, uh, take a month to uh, remodel everything.